Hello, how y'all doing? This is Kay. Happy, um, what is this, Tuesday night. I just woke up. Sorry for my clothes on backwards and stuff. I just had to get on here and let y'all know I had an accident at work today. I was at work and, you know, I had baked my little bread and baked my little cookies and had filled the ball up, changed all the cambros and everything was just so beautiful and it wasn't that busy. So I said, well, I can go over here and sit down and take me a little 15 minute break. I got me a a uh, cup of water and I uh, was getting ready to go put my makeup on. You know, just put on some little lipstick. Y'all know how I do. I ain't gonna put all that makeup and stuff on. But anyway, how about when I went to close the bar down? Anybody that knows Subway has glass like refrigerators to keep their food in where you can see down in there, you know, like a little see through thing. Y'all know how Subway sandwich stations made. I went to reach up to take the lock. These some older ones with those twist around locks not the ones that you can just pull up and they got those exhaust pumps where it pull it up and then when you pull it down it'll go on down by itself when you pull it up you pull it up by itself it's one of them older model ones where they got those little locks and look i got stitches today at work and now you know my uh my job is the inside of walmart so walmart came Flying, because I was there by myself, and it was one of the, you know, the door attendants, the lady over there. And I was like, Lord, I said, come here for a minute, come here. Because, y'all, it was a lot of blood, didn't nothing get nowhere near the food. I ran straight to the sink, and then it started gushing, and gushing, and gushing. And so, I, when I see blood like that, I get all out, out of whack, and it was running all down my arm. So, I started getting lightheaded, because I saw the blood. And I was like, oh, Lord, I'm going to fall out. I said, I can't fall out. Don't let me fall out. So, I just stood right there by the sink. And I cut the cold water on and stuck my hand up under there. Y'all, I looked down at my hand. All I could see was white meat. I don't, I don't think it was the bone, but it went pretty deep. And it was bad. You see, they blew stitches and they did a wonderful job. You know, I was in there acting a donkey at, that hosp at the hospital. But anyway, long story short. Walmart went like, hey, why? Y'all got any bleach back there? I said, yes, I do. So I went back there and got the bleach, and I had wrapped my hand up in all these paper towels because blood was just going everywhere. It was just running. And so then I got the bleach. We cut on the, turned it from cold water to hot water and put some soap and bleach and stuff all around the sink because didn't no blood get on the floor. Didn't no blood get on my clothes. Didn't none get nowhere near the food. And so that was the most important thing. They just wanted to make sure I didn't go nowhere back near the food, and I had bread in the oven. So I asked her, one of the, to, could the girl work at Walmart take my bread out so it wouldn't burn? And she said, no, she can't go back there. She said, just cut the oven off. I said, but the bread's still going to be cooking. I said, he'll have a fit if I let all this bread get burnt. I said, y'all going to have to let me go back over there. She said, ma'am, you're not supposed to be back there. I said, look, let me wrap this hand up and you stand right there and watch me. And I take this bread out with my left hand. So I... You know, you know me. I went on over there, y'all, <laughs> and stuck my hand in the glove, and I got the bread out, and I just kept it away from it, and whoom, put it up there. Whoom, 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 you know, took it out, because it was pretty good brown bread, and I didn't want to burn up no, about, I don't know how many pans, five, what is it, five, six, that's 30, 30 pieces of bread, he would have had a fit. So I went on ahead and uh, got the bread out. Then I got out from back there, sat in a chair like they said. So she done got on the phone and called the ambulance. I said, y'all, please, that's embarrassing. And you know how Walmart be packed, y'all. I was just so embarrassed. But I had to go because it was bad. So here we go. I had an incident like this before, but it wasn't this serious. <laughs> Mr. P said, this is my old boss man. He said, I can fix it. Boy, I wish he would have been over there today because I about had a heart attack. <laughs> I mean, it was just so much blood. I was panicking and about to have an anxiety attack, so I had to calm down. I had to stop, and then I just started praying and smiling. I did. I really did, because I, I, the blood was scaring me more than anything in the world, because I, at first I couldn't see what the gash was, but when I rinsed it away, look. But anyway, y'all just pray for your sister. It's just, it's... I don't know. I'm going back to work tomorrow, and I got all kind of stuff, y'all. You know, they loaded me up at the hospital. They gave me these, some tape to put over it, told me don't get it wet for 24 hours, and then when I get in the shower or whatever, just put one of these on just for 24 hours. But now after 24 hours, which I ain't going to wait that long because I got sticky stuff all on my hand, I'm going to uh, 
wash it warm, warm soapy water and just be careful that's all it's bending it's bending see but those are some cute neat stitches I, I ain't never had no accident that I can recall to get stitches yeah I got when I got stabbed I got stitches um but other than a surgery it's just amazing how things can happen so quick and it was it was just off the chain. Y'all just pray for us. I'm fine. It's just I had to let y'all know I had a little boo-boo. And yes, I'm going to get up and do my daily bread in the morning. Yes, I'm going to work. But um, I got a lot of paperwork need to be filled out because it happened at work. And it's going to be workers' compensation. I have you high compensation. I have you said. It's going to be it's gonna be all that. So um, y'all have a blessed and wonderful night. Pray that everything go well. Pray that this turns into something good. Just pray. I don't know why it happened. I was like, Lord, everything was going so good. Why? What was this all about? And I just said, well, just be quiet. I said, Lord, hey, you got your finger. And I still was smiling. Y'all know I did. I shed almost one or two tears because I was scared. But other than that, I'm fine. And y'all pray for me. And I see y'all in the morning with the daily bread. Okay? Now, y'all be careful. Don't get no boo-boos. I got stitches. <laughs> feel like a little kid or something. Look at that. It don't look too bad. They they hooked it up. All right. Have a blessed night. Bye. <laughs>